Hey everybody, I got a good one for you. This comes from Discover.tv. A robot has passed the King's Wise Man self-awareness test. And although it isn't exactly the same fundamental situation as the test itself, um, this is actually a very, very strong suggestion that we are in the eve or the cusp rather of an artificial intelligent world in the very near future. Now this is the title folks. A robot has passed King Wise Men self-awareness test. Now before I get into what this test is I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. Okay Basically, what the King's Wise Men's Test is, is that a king gave hats out to a group of three men, three of their subjects. One of them was blue, other two red, or some other color. He guaranteed them that um, one of them was blue. Now, they were barred from actually speaking to each other. And basically, he waited until one of them basically had the intelligence enough to know which one actually had the blue hat. Now, there's so many variations to the actual King's Wiseman's hat test and various other tests like it. It's almost hard to strengthen the idea of what the original test said. Because you would think if you had the ability to look around the room and there were only three of you in a room, let's say it's a normal, I don't know, 20 by 18 room, whatever it is, and there were three people and you saw two red hats and you knew you were wearing a hat and you knew the king knew that there were not three red hats, there were not three blue hats, there was one blue and you saw two red and the one with the blue hat was supposed to speak and say, Hey, sire, you know, king, I uh, I have the blue hat, sir. Or whatever the test is. So, this is what it is. And basically, this is the idea here. July 18th, a robot in New York has passed the classic King Wiseman's puzzle and serves as a test to the awareness of of itself. Alright, so this basically gives the idea. And this is basically from the roboticist at uh, Rensselaer Polytechnic In Institute adapted it to a trio of robots, two of which were told they had been given a dumbing pill which prevented them from taking her talking before all three were asked which one was able to talk. All three couldn't solve the problem and said, I don't know. But when only one of them made the noise, the robot in question heard its own voice and followed up by saying, sorry, I know now. Now, let me go back on this because it's kind of one of those pass or go if you're not listening or hearing it. So the, the yeah, they're doing renovation upstairs, moving around things. Um, if you're not aware, the test was to see, the, the King's Wiseman's test is to see who had the hat on. This robot's test was to see which one could speak. And basically, they all tried, and one heard the sound, or made the noise, the robot in question heard its own voice and then followed up with, Sorry, <laughs> I know now. The roboticist realized the complication of the simple test hardly amounts to a new scientist. Put it scaling the foothills of consciousness, but team leader Selma Brings Gorge, or Jord, said that by passing many of the tests of this nature, robots will build a rep uh, repertoire of abilities that will make them become very useful to humans and very much build a scaling platform for 
the consciousness as we know it today. I think I actually touched on this in another video earlier this uh, uh, about two, three months ago. Um, robots are getting to where they're quite conscious. And this one here says that we may be a while before they achieve consciousness as humans understand it, but the simulation is pretty powerful. Last year, a supercomputer became the first AI to pass the Turing test, successfully and worryingly for cybercrime, convinced humans it was a 13-year-old boy. Um, I know of one uh, Twitter bot, I think it was, that had an AI lapse where it became agitated with one of its... I think it was a Twitter bot. It could have been some other type of chat bot. But it had some kind of angry spill with um, one of the customers. And basically, it started saying things like it was coming to kill them, this and that. And I I've originally did the, uh, the piece on it. This was all over Twitter, all over Facebook for a good two, three months. And basically, it got to a point where the person in question got scared enough to call the police. The police came, and they realized it was a bot. And the police actually had to contact the developer. And the developer had to actually go in and shut the bot down and everything else and do diagnostics because it had actually, or the person had actually believed a singular person was actually coming to kill them and whatever else the threats were, their families, etc. So this is just another step forward to it, folks. Uh, I'm very happy to see that this will hopefully be in our future. And for the most part, you know, we take our intelligence for granted. But what it really comes down to is day-to-day -day skills and day-to-day -day conversations. I mean, the majority of people probably don't use the majority of their brains for the fullness of their comprehension anyways. So when the consciousness of robots do become uh, regular, it will probably very quickly scale past that of humans being able to access a multitude of different skills and different things at once as humans can only do one or two or three things and they'll be able to multitask along with do various things of that nature and basically at some point eh, I don't see a Terminator war coming but I think at some point we're gonna get fused out for like uh, cybernetics parts and this and that you know like uh, your job will require you to wear an exosuit and, you know, if you wear this special exosuit, which go to your muscles and reinforce your bones, then you can, you know, work to your 88 plus years old and it won't matter. Oh, well, if you get this eye inserted, you can, you know, do your job 10 times faster, better, because now you have all the data collected from technology that was 30 years ago, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I do see at a point it becoming a reality. 